Alright, welcome everybody to Let's Play Doom 3. I was gonna save this uh, until after I finished Max Payne, but I've gotten a few requests that I, I go ahead and start this up, so I'm definitely going to uh, start this now. I'll just do both LPs at the same time, but uh, yeah, I'm so psyched to play this game. I fucking love this game. And um, I'll explain some more stuff uh, during the opening cutscene, because it's uh, a little quiet. Let's go ahead and start. I've been trying to figure out whether I want to play this on Marine or Veteran, whether I want to just steamroll this game or actually have a challenge. And, you know, with my other Doom games, I've always played on Ultra Violence, and pretty much the same difficulty is Veteran, the closest thing. Nightmare, that's like WTF mode. It's... I might, you know, explain that to you later. But for now, let's just start. I love this game. I've actually not beaten it. I've come very close. But that was on an easier difficulty, and it was just kind of too easy. You know, you play games on higher difficulties for so long, and it's just like, you know, I need a challenge. So it's a good thing I'm doing Marine or Veteran or whatever the hell I picked. <laughs> I don't even know. But, uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this now. Since this is a pretty graphic game, uh, I'm not going to be curbing my... <laughs> Uh, what do you call it? Language. My swear words. Because whether I want to or not, I might get freaked out sometimes. Like, if I forget a guy is going to pop out from somewhere. And uh, I might say the F word a few times. So be ready for that. So if you have, you know, virgin ears or something, you know, sorry in advance, but eh, you'll get over it. Ever conceived? Holy crap. Transport. I wonder who's on that. Phantom class. Counselor Swan. Tower, Dark Star on final. That didn't even look like a human ship. We've got Dark Star and we're set for launch. Kind of alien, but I guess we are landing on Mars, so. Here is us, one of the most badass marines ever around, I guess. <laughs> Those two guys, you'll see them a lot. Uh, the guy with the sunglasses, I think that was Swan. To Mars. All new need to check in at reception. Hmm, you don't say. Let's Welcome go ahead and to go to reception. Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To to well, when you're trapped up, you know, cooped up in this place for so long, I'm sure you start to go crazy. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares like, on the floor. For like this? Scan. Where's my feet? I don't have feet. Okay, Help. Dude, screw this. Give me some damn feet. Uh, I guess we'll have to let it slide for now. I'm gonna move as I please. Because, honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter. Yay! We don't have any viruses or infections or stuff. What will... Wow, that's kind of creepy. Hmm. Well, I think we're supposed to go to Marine Command. And I'm guessing it's one of these places. So. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay. There's a few things we need to take care of first. 
This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the sign. Okay, this is our PDA. And uh, this is how basically we go about finding a bunch of stuff out. I mean, we'll be picking up other people's PDAs along the way. We'll be able to look at their email. And we'll be able to listen to their... Uh, you know, all their files and whatnot, and all their audio logs. And we got some video discs. Ah, looks like we actually have one. So uh, let's go ahead and just watch it, because I don't think I've ever watched these. <laughs> Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Huh. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. <laughs> Never discharge what? weapons in an area that may Handle your mini guns with extreme caution. If you're going to fire that baby off, don't be pointing at people. Good job. Paramount to your success Christ. here on Mars. <laughs> Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care and good luck on your new assignment. Thanks, debriefer. I'll remember it well. All right, let's go find Kelly, and uh, can't get in there. So I'm not gonna go through controls, but you can dash in this game. Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? The board. Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. Not All the they board. Want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruka, Delta included. I won't have any difficulty doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Shit. Let's go. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, you know that guy's evil because, you know, he has a glass eye or whatever. And uh, you know that guy's cool because he's wearing sunglasses. Indoors. When it's not lit very well. Good job, man. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, you can dash really fast and you got that meter in the bottom left. And let's go check out the kitchen. I believe, yes, here's a PDA. Adam Burnage. Uh, but let's go this way. Marine Command. Let's just get there. Let's actually do something in this video. Alright. Hey, here it is. Let's go see what Kelly has to say. It's one of those guns, I guess. Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. You are ugly son of a bitch. You get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. Hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You can pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. 
Now move out. Okay, so we gotta find a scientist or something to do something with him. That was very vague. But thanks anyway, bud. Why right, this guy gonna help us or I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. Oh, it's this one. Derp. Doodly derp. Move faster. Sorry I haven't been talking too much during this video. There's so many cutscenes in the beginning here. They'll definitely dwindle once uh, we start fighting some stuff, you know. Not too much stuff to find around here. There's some people talking, gossiping, and bathrooms. But we're the, you know, we're the protagonist. We don't use bathrooms. Ever. I'm getting a little choppy. Mm. As for uh, video length, um, I'm probably going to aim for about 20 minutes on each. Um, just because I don't want to make this game into like 80 videos or something, because it's a pretty long game. And so if anybody has a problem, like just with how many, or just how long the videos are, and you know, you know, you don't want to watch the 20 minutes, you'd rather have 10, 15, let me know, and uh, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. If you'd rather watch a bunch of videos, if you don't have much free time or something, but uh, yeah. We need to get a gun. I don't want to be punching shit. Loading. This game came out when the first Xbox was around, and... So this the graphics are actually pretty good in my opinion for uh Xbox. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. What did you punch okay, the glass? Grab your gear. Hmm. Pistol? Now you're ready for combat. But but I want this stuff. Give give me that stuff. Give me there we go. Check. Gotta remember That's the controls. Good this is the uh, <laughs> game I've been playing like a been lot lately. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and straight out. We'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay. We get to go outside? Yes! Hopefully it's snowing. Right. I love the snow. Civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot it. Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Welcome to the. You sure are curious, aren't you? How would I mess with your shit? Yeah, this is what I do. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Doom guy, whatever your name is, Marine dude. So hey, mischief. You're looking for the scientist, right? I am. I'm not sure you want to find him. Why? You see, uh, never mind. No, tell me. Don't tell me. Listen. Never mind what I yep. say. Screw you. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't, uh... Oh, we vaporized him by hitting him in the back of the head with a flashlight. I am strong. Super strong. Ah, screw you guys. PDA, Grant Baston. Now, here's what I was talking about before. Like, there's... Audio logs, and uh, you'll find some goodies. And um, n mostly, you'll just need security codes to get into lockers and doors and stuff. But it looks like uh, you need uh, energy stabilization unit to five three one. So five three one. Let's try that. Let's see if we can get some goodies. Huzzah! Armor shards and shells. Shells. We don't have a shotgun yet. Needs me a shotgun. This way? No? This way, yes. Forget him. Let's actually get somewhere. Oh, it's dark. Yes, in this game, if you did not know, if you've not played this game, if you've been living under a rock for the past 15 years or however long this game's been out, probably only 10, but uh, you cannot have a flashlight and a weapon out at the same time. Granted, you know, when you're shooting... I don't want to listen to you. Granted, when you're shooting, you know, there's going to be some muzzle flash and whatnot that uh, you'll be able to see somewhat in front of you, but normally I just look at the cursor and... Oh shit, we're losing oxygen. But uh, there's some goodies and whatnot that we need to get out here. If I remember... Here we go. Got some more armor shards. 
some clip. One clip. So let's go ahead and go ahead and grab this tank so we don't asphyxiate. Asphyxiate? There we go. I are good with the talking and stuff. See, we're already up to 15 minutes. We haven't done anything. But that's okay. We've gotten some story. There's some evil people, and there's some good people, and there's a guy with a, a gun walking around with a cool guy with sunglasses. Get up there. There we go. Lots of med packs around. Green, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. I'm going. I'm going. I did not jump there. Bad elevators, I guess. Looks like this is it. Huh? No. No. Please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you what? don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly Calm understand down, dude. or comprehend. No, just tell us what happened. It's real. I know. I built his cage. El Diablo? Oh, God! Whoa, whoa, what the... Dude! hell is happening? What the fuck? Whoa. El Diablo is possessing it. Whoa. Come at me, bro. Alright, the easiest way... Oh, I did not want to do that. The easiest way to dispatch of these easy zombie type guys to shoot them in the head. Obviously, shoot them in the head. You'll save so much ammo. And with these guys... Oh, that didn't work at all. But you can usually just run up, run back, kind of use the dash, and you can hit them with your flashlight in these early stages. And uh, you can save some ammo that way. But for the most part, you don't really have to. I mean, there's plenty of ammo in this game. Like, more than you'll ever need. Whoa. Okay, well. Go ahead and grab those med kits. I'll jump up here and uh, grab this other one. Jump up there, man. Bang. Alright. Get the hell out of here. We gotta get back to Kelly. See what the hell is happening. The hell is coming through that portal. Over. This is Bravo team. We've got one Marine Whoa. down, two wounded. Be ready. So, a lot of skulls flying around, possessing people. Takes two hits with the flashlight with the, with the zombies. And, uh, let's keep moving. Whoa! Or if you shoot him in the head, it takes a three, I think. Otherwise, it takes, like, ten or something. A lot. It takes a lot of bullets with a pistol. Shoot him in the head. There we go. I don't think there's anything down there, but I'm not gonna. Whoops. I'm not gonna look. Ah, well. Looks like we're not going that way. Let's extend this bridge and move on. You got it, bro. Yeah, that's cool. Why this isn't always extended, I have no idea, but... Oh well, it's Mars. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of easy in this beginning part. You can actually shoot the guy. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. You definitely need to utilize cover in this game. As I run out and shoot him in the kneecaps. Alright, we need to find one of these guys' PDAs, it looks like. So let's look over here. Over yonder. Looks like we got another zombie. Easy sauce. Very easy in the beginning here. And any fan of the Halo series will know like what I'm talking about here. You can actually crouch jump. It's like when you get to the top of your jump, see if I can actually do it. Get to the top of your jump. Maybe it's not here. You can, uh... Maybe I jumped on something else. But you can uh, go ahead and... 
right, I think I jumped up here, maybe? Something like that. Anyway, you can crouch jump in this game. You can get through some doors and whatnot and some windows that you might not be able to otherwise. I mean, it's not like sequence breaking or anything. You want to save this guy. You're welcome, dude. If you save that guy, then uh, he'll open something up for us later. As you can see, I've used a lot of bolts already, and I still have like a hundred. Plenty of ammo. Well, I think this is a good enough spit, uh, spot as any to uh, go ahead and end this, um, because uh, something's going to happen in this room, and uh, we'll find out next time on Let's Play Doom 3. So we'll see you then.